What's up, everybody? I'm Luke with Ride Bikes More, and today I am in Boulder, Colorado with Gabe and Hernan for a bike ride interview. But before I get started, remember, big shout out to everyone for showing so much love. The goal, the purpose is to raise bicycle awareness one person at a time. And remember to cycle because it makes you feel good. Mm. Guys, thank you so much for the invite ride with dan usa as well gabe you are always tagging me on all kinds of media and i really appreciate that i wanted to tell you myself in person that i appreciate all of that hard work that you do hernan you also tag me <laughs> apparently you're a legend around here and you tag everyone you share everyone's content you're like one of the guys that's behind the scenes yeah. so i'm lucky to be able to talk to both of you <laughs> Tell me a little bit about the biking scene here in Boulder, Colorado. Well, Boulder is a pretty nice, well, outdoor town that there's a lot of biking infrastructure and that there's a lot of sunlight throughout the year. So it's pretty much nice and it's a little cold. I'm always out and about biking when the weather is somewhat nice and you never know. I usually just grab my bike after work and don't plan anything. Just go outside and you never know what you're going to see the most randomest things catch up on old friends new friends and very unpredictable and that's why i love grabbing my bike and just being outside and riding a lot gabe you run and manage boulder bike night tell me a little bit about that group so i've been involved with the cycling scene here in boulder for over 15 years where wow. originally similar to arnon i actually grew up in these mountains and these hills and on these streets and uh, after high school, I ended up stumbling upon our weekly Happy Thursday Cruiser Ride here in town that celebrates its 31st year. And before that, I've never heard of or gotten involved with social cycling or bike life or critical mass or bike parties. And since really discovering it from day one, I've been enamored by it, fascinated by it. And where Boulder Bike Night came from was in the mid to late 2000s, around 2016, the Cruiser Ride here was going through a little bit of a transitional time and change. And I'd been doing it for a while up till then. And so I decided to make an Instagram page on a whim, kind of put two names in a hat, pulled them out, Boulder, and then Bike Night, and uh, looked up on Instagram, and it was available. And it initially started off as a first Friday of the month ride. I'd get together with friends, and we'd ride around, and we'd just use my music trailer and set up a mobile projector and play video games like Super Smash Brothers or Mario Kart. And eventually I kind of got back into the Happy Thursday Cruiser Ride life. And so nowadays, Boulder Bike Night hosts the Sunday Slow Roll Ride, which we are on our second season now. We host pop-up rides. We've moved away from the first Friday rides, but maybe we'll get back into it. And we got a bunch of rides here on the horizon that I'm excited about. And so that's kind of a little bit about Boulder Bike Night. Now, I'm hearing that Boulder is a super bike-friendly city. Uh, why do people say that, Hernan? Because there's a good amount of infrastructure, there's a lot of underpasses, a lot of bike trails, a lot of dirt trails, and the best thing about boulders, sometimes if you want to avoid traffic in general, you can just grab a bike and then whiz through that and just have a good time <laughs> and be outside. Gabe, for people that are watching that want to come out but maybe unsure, what would you say to them? Oh, if they want to come out and check out just biking in general, there's so many different options here in town. There's a app sharing program called B-Cycle where you can rent uh, electric bicycles. There's the Lime Scooters. There's our group, which is uh, very perfect for people that are new to town or beginners or just maybe they haven't used their bike in a few years and they're pulling it out of the garage. And so, especially nowadays, there's just so many different kind of bikes for different kind of riders. I'd say now is the time and there's a little bit of a different flavor for everybody no matter what they're looking for whether it's high level endurance slow mellow cruiser rides bike parties there's always something to do here so i'd i'd echo your sentiment luke of just get outside and get on your bike and like or non if you need a guide or a buddy just hit me up on boulder bike night or hit up Hernan on his instagram he's always looking for folks to ride with Hernan, any yeah. special messages you want to give people that are watching uh the best thing is if you don't know what to do, if you're bored, if you have a bicycle, just grab your bike, explore your own town. You'll be amazed on what things are going on, like new neighborhoods you never explore. And it's always nice to be outside when it's possible, if the weather allows it. And you meet random people and sometimes you meet 
or see the most strangest thing that you're like, wow, if I didn't rob my bike today, I would never caught that or got to see that. <laughs> Any final messages? Even before Hernan started coming on the, the ride, I would see him around town, riding through the hills, riding through the streets, riding through the back alleys. And I always wondered, who is this guy and what's his story? And when Hernan started riding with me in particular and coming on these rides, you know, right away, I just sensed something amazing in him and have always appreciated that no matter what ride I'm hosting, no matter when, if Hernan has the time and the place and the space, he's always one of the first people here before I even get a chance to ride here. And so if you're trying to keep up with fun things in Boulder or see the cool sites uh mm. skip looking at the daily camera don't worry about checking the local papers just follow him on instagram it's much easier to keep up with the times and also get inspired too and if you're also looking for a photographer and videographer this is your guy he's uh he's really the dude of boulder colorado and then with you in particular luke what i really like is since kind of getting into the instagram space and finding other bike rides bike parties, critical mass rides, social rides, you name it. It's been rare to find another page that supports as many bike rides and is just so open to collaboration and open to showcasing what other people are doing with the sole intention of just really inspiring creativity from other people showing that hey we can do it in texas we can do it in boulder colorado we can do it in indonesia that's the big one i've been really loving sending to you is all the rides there and so this is really a movement right now and it's something that anyone can do with just a group of friends with a bike and an instagram page and so just thank you for being you and i'm excited to ride with you today I think this is just the tip of the iceberg and we are about to see bikes take over the world and see these group rides not only move into helping increase better bike awareness, increase bike infrastructure, I think this is going to be the time for people to really show that we want to be connected, we want to be together, and we don't want to go through the traditional means that we've seen historically. Some of these bike rides are businesses, some of these bike rides are nonprofits, and some operate on the fringe, and I think that's incredibly cool, and I think that's, like I said, just the beginning, and I can't wait to see what happens in the next 5, 10, 15 years with it. So keep on keeping on, and we'll see you next time. Guys, again, thank you so much. I could not have said it better. I'm Luke with Ride Bikes More, and we are out. Oh, 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 oh.